Welcome back guys. So, actually a little bit of a post game I guess, but, um, just a few things. Um, first of all I am really impressed by the amount of people that have viewed this. I haven't even been live on the web for a full day now, and already one of my parts, part 9, has I think about 10 views now, and that video is not even a day old yet. So I am, for those of you who are actually viewing these, I really do appreciate it. And this is just something for fun that I'm doing. I'm not expecting to get really famous off this stuff or anything. But, um, it's just something that I want to do. Um, so anyway, a couple of announcements, because now I have people actually viewing this stuff. First of all, this is called Blackmail Gaming Live. Although this isn't live right now. I am just recording myself doing these videos for now. And that's probably how most of the how-tos are going to be. There's going to be a bunch of how-to videos, such as the Paper Mario Trilogy, which I probably will definitely do before Paper Mario 3DS comes out. Um, I'm trying to do a couple of tributes after this, because there are a couple of games coming out that will further on some of the series. Like Luigi's Mansion, for example. There's Luigi's Mansion 2 that's coming out on the 3DS. So before it comes out, I wanted to do Luigi's Mansion. So that's some stuff. Um, you can go to my Facebook page, which is just Blackmail Gaming, or my email, blackmail202 at gmail.com, and you could vote on what you want to do. Whether you want to do the Paper Mario Trilogy or Luigi's Mansion. And then a third idea was, I thought I could probably do a live broadcast of Mario Sunshine, which is a game I've actually never beaten. I've came close, but there are some stars that I don't know about. And that's where I might need your help to tell me what to do, instead of me telling you what to do. So, there's that. And, um, how much minutes are we in? We're only in a minute. So, the reason why I'm doing this now is because this is going to be a kind of a short part anyway. Because we're just going to be doing Bowser and how to get the 8 red coins in Bowser's first stage. So, we're going to do that right now. Okay, so it looks like a painting. It's kind of creepy because it turns into Bowser as you keep going. And you'll just fall in this hole. Fall ha ha, you've stepped right into my trap. Just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. Okay, so that's a fake green block. Okay, every Bowser course has pretty much straightforward red coins except for one. There's always one that's hidden, and that's the first one that's hidden. A lot of people don't know about this particular coin. And even if you saw this, how do you get it? Well, I'll show you. Basically, there's a little switch up here that will cause a block to appear over this red coin. What you do is you go back, and hopefully before it disappears, you have to get the red coin, and then you're done. The rest of the red coins after this are pretty much straightforward. See how the camera's working. Uh, the camera looks pretty good. It's a little delayed from what I'm doing. So if I say, like, you know, if I say, yes, I killed it, and then I kill it, that just means it's, a, it's delayed. Like, that Goomba punch was probably delayed a little bit. But again, we can only get better from here. As far as camera views and stuff, I'm not a very technological person. So, but I have friends that are, so it'll be okay. Oh, whoops, I missed one. Okay, three. I remember this, like, I don't know, this is kind of corny, but I remember this music being awesome when I was like a five-year-old. I thought it was kind of epic. It was like, this is kind of like my first boss stage, you know? This was the first video game I ever played, so listening to this music was kind of epic for me back then. And now it sounds nerdy for me to say that, but whatever, it's just my childhood. Alright, that's enough of that. Alright, so anyway... Go back here to get another one. That's a, this is one that's kind of hidden. It's, you have to go on the bridge. I missed it. There it is. Sneak on the bridge.
Again, one of the only times you're ever going to see me use Mario Cam. But that's the eighth one. Star appears right next to the the um, pipe. Warp pipe, I should say, for all you really hardcore Mario fans. Anyway, you hit this, you go up, and you get to go to Bowser. And this will take you to Bowser. But first... And that counts as one of the secret stars, which means we have five. So we're almost done with the top floor, for at least for the time being. So this is Bowser. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Go ha ha. Go ahead. Just try to grab me by my tail. It's not like that's the way you beat me or anything. You'll never be able to swing me around. Oh, I'm like you couldn't throw me out of here. Never. Ha ha ha. So, I'm gonna pretend that he didn't tell you just how to do this, and assuming that you have the mind of a retarded monkey, we can assume that you have to grab him by the tail, swing him around, and press B. Or A, I think it's A actually. Or it's B. Press B when you're ready to let go. You want to aim for that spiked blue ball thing because it's a bomb. So just spin around for a bit and. Oh, that was horrifying. Oh, got him. Get him really close to the bomb. Make it so that he really can't miss. Got him. And he's done. He's toast. And that's the first key. And that count as a secret star, as you can tell. Alright, so we're going to start with the basement ones. Actually, you know what? We're going to start, we're going to get the metal cap and the invisible cap after the break. So you use the key to open the basement door. You don't use it on the top floor yet. That's later. We could technically go into the second Bowser world, but we're not going to do that. Alright, so we're going to take a break, and when we get back, we're going to finish off the invisible cap and the metal cap. And then after that, we're going to finish off Boo's Haunt, Big Boo's Haunt and Jolly Roger Bay. So until then, I'll see you later.